Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Hope you guys are all having a good weekend. Tonight we're back doing the weekend recap, showcasing the things that I picked up over the last few days. Estate sales and flea markets, and I got a good bit of collectibles and also cards, and we have some mail to check out as well. So that is all tonight on The Weekend Recap. Stay tuned. <laughs> First things first, I'll start out with my Saturday morning. I got up at 5 a.m. and drove an hour away to a place in Pittsburgh to check out this estate sale because I saw they were advertising a bunch of different collectibles. But the main thing that caught my eye was a big box full of 70s cards. And I could see from when the one picture they posted on Craigslist, there was I, I could see the Billy Martin middle finger 72 tops card. I could also see a Lou Brock 72 tops card poking out. And I'm like, I'm going to go check this out and see uh, see what the deal is with this. When I got there, no box. I had to stand outside in the cold for about a half hour. Even though I got there right at 7 a.m., there's still like 25 people in line. But there was a lot of collectibles inside of there. And it was not all for nothing. I found some other stuff here. Um, 15 bucks is what I spent. Actually, actually I think it was 13 bucks uh, at this estate sale. But a couple of cool collectibles here for you TMNT fans. I don't really decorate for Christmas around my house, so I figure maybe I should start this year. Maybe this is just what I need to start decorating. Hey dudes, Merry Christmas from 1988. That was three bucks. I thought that was pretty cool. I noticed on eBay, I think there's one on there right now and it's listed for like 25. I thought that was a pretty decent deal. This next one was a pretty big one. I don't normally find Ghostbusters stuff in the wild, as we say, um, but I was blown away when I came across this. It's a Ghostbusters 2 promotional shirt from 1989. And it's an XL. Actually kind of my size. But it's a Fujifilm promotional shirt. This was 10 bucks. This is something that's pretty rare. If you go on to eBay and you type in Ghostbusters 2 um, Fujifilm, you'll see there's two shirts on there listed right now. The one is 200 bucks and the other one's 300 bucks for the exact same shirt. I think there's an auction, an active auction happening right now and it's like up to 70 or 80 bucks. But 10 bucks for something that potentially is uh, you know, worth a couple hundred. But I will not be selling this one. This will go in my personal collection of Ghostbusters stuff, but still a heck of a deal. Only 10 bucks for that shirt. And then after I left there, I went to a couple different places in Pittsburgh. One being a flea market, Trader Jack's. Didn't really find a whole lot of stuff there, but I found a couple cool things. Um, some collectibles, some comics. Somebody actually sent me this a while ago. Back to the Future 2, the hoverboard, the one-fifth scale replica. These things are freaking sweet. I think this was um, this was like a buck. I couldn't pass on it. Loot Crate released these in 2015. They got a cool uh, little mirror on the bottom of that, but... Um, replica hoverboard you couldn't pass on that for only a buck no way and then uh, i came across these from the same person there um these are slammer comic books slammer and the real ghostbusters obviously a big ghostbusters fan as most of you know uh the artwork on this one's kind of weird <laughs> not even the cover of that is very weird Slimer and the Crying Babies. I don't know if he's babysitting or what it is, but this uh, this artwork with Winston's pretty cool. But um, I don't necessarily buy comics too often, but these were a dollar a piece. If I see, you know, real Ghostbusters stuff, I will definitely pick up, especially if it's only a buck. Now, what I love about old comics is all this random stuff that they have. Just uh, uh, the Slimer, the Draw Slimer contest is pretty sweet. I like that a lot. And then in the other one, you actually go on to see different submissions as well as in this one too i was looking at that one earlier it's, <laughs> that's looks about like something i would draw right now but these are the winners actually some cool ones on there i thought that was pretty neat definitely a cool collectible and i noticed in the back too double dragon handheld from tiger electronics and both these comics actually came from universal studios they're buck 75 back then and then this one has some more promotional things it's cool to go back and look at this um, these different ads and whatnot. There's the draw slammer contest again, but pretty neat stuff. So for a buck a piece, could not pass on those. So that's double dragon uh, promotions in there. So I picked up both of those and then also picked up a figure, pull speed ahead, real Ghostbusters figure. I don't have it with me though. It's in the other room. Uh, it's not complete, but it was a buck. So I grabbed that 
And I was also going to Walmarts. I'm trying to find newer cards, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And then I went to Green Tree Sports Cards, and I think they said they got 10 cases of update in, and they were down to, like, the last three boxes. So I couldn't help myself. I picked up a Holly box. They were 80 bucks, which is a good price. It seems like they're around 100 like between 95 and 100 on eBay right now uh, shipped. But very hard to find in Target and Walmart. Very difficult, so I figured... Ripped this at some point. 80 bucks. Couldn't go wrong. And uh, that was basically all I picked up over the weekend. I didn't go out anywhere today. Just yesterday. Um, but we're going to check out some mail too. But first, a card that I bought online last week that I've been wanting for a long time. You probably heard me make reference to this a bunch of times. Miggy's rookie card from 2000 Tops Traded. I've had my eye on this for a while and I almost bought it at a card show like a year or two ago. I don't know why I didn't, because it was about half the price it is now. Generally, these seem to be around like 50 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks for Miggy's rookie card. Uh, future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. Uh, his rookie, which is kind of hard to find because they never made boxes of these. They just made sets. So, um, definitely a cool pickup for my rookie card PC. And some mail I didn't show you guys before... Um, sent in by Joe B. Joe B is actually a police officer in Kenosha. Um, I don't know if I pronounced that right on. Hopefully I didn't butcher it. But Kenosha Police Force, Joe B, uh, whom some of you guys may be familiar with, he sent me a package a couple weeks ago. And um, I just, now I'm getting around to showing it to you guys. But really freaking awesome. It was right around, coincided right around when we did the 93 Don Russ rip a few weeks after that. But Joe went ahead and sent two Don Russ Elite cards. So freaking awesome. From 1993, Paul Molitor, one of my favorites back in the 90s. When I used to PC him. And actually Eric's favorite as a kid, Andy Van Slyke. And beautiful looking cards. I still one day hope to pull one of these out of a pack. It just it seems like it is freaking impossible. I know a lot of people have done it. It's definitely on my bucket list. These were limited to 10,000. Obviously, serial number to 10,000. But... Super hard to pull. Beautiful looking cards. I love that design. It's so freaking awesome. Joe, thank you so much. And then Joe included this Kenosha patch as well. Thank you for your service. Joe, stay safe out there, man. I appreciate you sending these. These are so cool, man. Very, very cool. And the very last thing I had to show to you, I don't have a whole lot to go over tonight, but the... Legendary John Fishman, as most of you guys know on the channel from the live streams and everything else. Hilarious guy. <laughs> he uh, he sent me a package that I got a couple days ago. Big stack of slabs and a couple singles here. And uh, <laughs> uh, I had a really good time going through these. So I'm going to share these with you now. But uh, we got a GMA 2018 Heritage Aaron Judge Mint 9. GMA slab there, and this next one, I've never seen this car before, but it, it literally, <laughs> I literally lost it whenever I saw this, though, and I opened it up. Mike Armstrong, 83 Tops. This is one of the creepiest cards, I think, that I've come across. I think it's right up there with uh, the 90 Upper Deck Randy card uh, that we've seen too many times. But <laughs> such, such a weird, weird shot of him. Mike Armstrong... Legendary card there. It is now at least. And obviously one of the channel's worst bad omens. An 89 Bowman Tiffany, which you don't see very often, but Mint 9 Eric Plong. I think it's like a third year card. I mean, fourth, fourth year card for him, I guess. His rookie was 86. Shared with Jose Canseca, but <laughs> very hideous card of Eric Plong. And here's an interesting one. Tony Clark, 94. Uh, Bowman previews. BCCG9. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these before. These preview cards, I never really came across those very often. I actually love 94 Bowman a lot. I love that set. Uh, we've ripped that on here before a long time ago. I might need to do that again sometime soon. And obviously another infamous um, Omen on this channel. Old Bernard Gilkey. His 91 Tops 90 MLB debut. And that's a excellent to mint 6. <laughs> Bernard Gilkey. You never have enough Gilkeys. And a World War Sabo from 1989. Near Mint Mint 8. 
I don't know if I had this one. A lot of people have sent me Chris Sabo over the last two years, but this is one I don't think that I have in my collection. Rest in peace to the retailer Woolworth, no longer with us. And a Rich Dower, 1986 Tops 8, PSA 8. These cards are pretty hard to get in high grades. You can definitely fetch yourself some money if you do have any that are you know, nicely centered and there's no white showing because that freaking black border. But <laughs> that's a pretty random one. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. And here's one that uh, was referred to in a video a while back. Wally Moon and that hideous, hideous unibrow. 1961 tops. This card, I almost thought it was a reprint whenever I first um, opened it up because it looks so sharp. I mean, it's off center, but like the corners are all you know, like pristine and sharp for the most part, and uh, just the surface and everything else. I don't know. It's just <laughs> that's a sharp looking card, but not as sharp as that freaking unibrow. Wally Moon. That is a pretty epic card. Here's an interesting one I've never seen before 94 Stadium Club Oral Hershizer. It's a very suggestive looking pose on there. I'm not really sure what is going on, um, but. <laughs> pretty uh pretty funny card there and of course tom hankey was always known for taking nerdy photos on his cards the biggest dork in the mlb tom hankey and i'm sure some of you guys remember this the 66 tops don mossy we were cracking up one night talking about this i think don mossy actually passed away a few years ago uh <laughs> i showed this to my buddy and he's like that's definitely fake. There's no way those are his real ears. Yeah, I never had seen this car before until someone pointed it out to me. And uh, we definitely got a good chuckle of it. Don Mossy, 66 tops. Very good, excellent four. <laughs> Thank you so much, John Fishman. I definitely had a, a great time going through all those. And they will have a good, a good hoe in my PC, man. I really appreciate that. And appreciate everybody else that has sent in mail. You guys are awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed this weekend's pickups. I know it wasn't a whole lot. Uh, hopefully next weekend I'll be able to get out there again and uh, grab up some more stuff. But that's all I have for you tonight. Uh, probably won't have a video for you tomorrow. But Tuesday, we'll be back for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And this week we are opening 98 Don Russ. Chasing after the legendary Crusade cards. So I hope that you will tune in for that. But until next time, guys, I hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll see you all on Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching.